Hey everybody, thanks for joining me tonight. I'm Lisa Brown and this is my Facebook Live, 12 weeks of uh, celebration and this is week 12. So um, celebration is almost over. Uh, you have until March 31st to uh, earn all your freebies. So um, yeah, um, let's see, I'm just gonna get on my computer here and get this going so um yeah stampin up has announced some items uh that they've added that you can earn for free and we'll go over those uh in a minute and um like i said uh you have until march 31st to get your freebies you also have until March 31st to join my team and sign up to be a, um, a savvy shopper, a stamp and demonstrator, a self supporter, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you sign up by then, you're going to get the free mini trimmer. I love this little thing. And you will get this pack of 48 sheets of designer series paper. And it's a really nice sampling of uh, the paper that is out in the new mini catalog, the 2020 mini catalog. And then there's our, our excuse me, there's also several sheets um, of the um, lily pad paper that um, is a free earn in celebration. So you do get a few sheets of that. Um, let's see. For $99, you can pick $125 worth of product. Um, get the trimmer, get the paper. Uh, and uh, Stampin' Up! is also offering an extra free stamp set. Now, if you sign up now, you can um, tomorrow start immediately placing demonstrator orders. As a demonstrator, you get everything a customer gets. So not only will you get your 20% discount, you will qualify for Stampin' Rewards or what they used to call Hostess Rewards. Um, and you also get free celebration earned. So if you place like a $150 order, that qualifies you for um, $15 worth of hostess rewards. And that will also qualify you for three $50 level um, uh, celebration product or um, one $50 level and uh, $100 level celebration product. I think I said all that right. Plus your 20% discount. So um, how I kind of like think of that in, in, in a way, if, if like for a quick calculation, um, figure that you're getting your shipping, handling, and tax for free. So, and then um, once you uh, go to the next level and Stampin' Up!, which is not very hard to do, uh, you just have to have $1,800 in sales, you will uh, go to the next level and your commission will then go up to 25%. So you get a 25% discount um, on your on your order. So you can't, you can't beat that. Um, all right. My computer is scrolling. So, um, yeah. So th this, this right here, holy cow, like for $99, this is completely worth, um, becoming a demonstrator for in my eyes anyways. And why not like get a discount on stuff that you, you um, that you like to, uh, use and play with and create with anyways. So, um, let's see. All right. So, um, so stamping up for the last week yesterday released out. Um, I had, I did post it on my Facebook page, um, some additional items that you can earn for free. Hi, sister, sister. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Linda Burkus. Hi, Christine. I know Christine. I'm missing you too. She's working from home. I'm not though. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, nine items and they are, uh, the red rhinestones, the mini shipping boxes, um, follow your art designer series paper, dino roar designer 
Series paper, the Woven Threads uh, Designer Series paper. The Woven Threads is real pretty. It's real, um, how do I want to say it? Like antique ornate. Um, yeah, it's 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 really pretty. Um, what else? Oh, the Shimmer Detailed Laser Cut Paper. If you haven't seen that, that's that's really fun. And those make great like overlays. If you have some like just a a plain pattern um, designer series paper, and you can lay it right over, slap a, a little sentiment on it, and and you're done. They're also offering for free uh, the Rococo Rose Stampin' Blend Alcohol Marker Combo Pack. Um, I thought that was, that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, and you can use the Rococo Rose to color ribbon and other rhinestones and paper. So, uh, so those are all free with a $50 purchase. And then for a $100 purchase, they have included the Butterfly Duet punch and the wild rose dies. So like I said, I did post that yesterday. Um, somebody even asked me what the coordinating stamp set was that, um, went with the wild rose dies. So I did, um, post pictures of that and a couple of sample pictures. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to have like a real quick replay on, on some of the stuff that, um, that we've done over the last several weeks, just to kind of set a reminder. I tried to find everything, but I couldn't, but that's okay. I found most of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera down. Give me one second. Hi, Caitlin, how are you? Hey, Sandy Bennett. Sandy Bennett, our little nurse friend. Okay, there we go. Let me bring my light over a little bit. Caitlin, I got my webcam. Ooh, my light just fell off. Um, I got my webcam, so I have to work on that. <laughs> All right. So, um, happy birthday to you is a free urn. Hey, Lisa Ertle. Um, and I've used this quite a bit. Unfortunately, there was some um coordinating dies that Stampin' Up had released, and unfortunately. Those are gone. I'm still going to show you. Um, the honeybee paper is already sold out, but um, you can use really any background paper. So these were a couple of cards that we uh, made with the Happy Birthday to You stamp set. Okay. And then... Oh, goodness. I don't think it was last week. Maybe it was the week before. I showed you the... Um, the flowering foils designer series paper and I showed you different ways to color it um so there's that we did a little brayering we did a little sponging we used our um, alcohol stamp and blends and then let me get out this one and then this one um, there's some uh, flower paper and so we cut those out and we colored those with our blends as well and then layered it on the same one that we have back here. Okay, so the flowering foils paper and that is still available. The happy birthday to you stamp set is still available. Both of those are $50 urns. Um, next we have Rise and Shine. This was in the second release. Uh, the Rise and, Shine, uh, Rise and Shine stamp set coordinates with the Cup of Cheer dies. And the Cup of Cheer dies uh, came out in the um, holiday catalog and they cut out your mugs. So you have um, mug dies and stuff. And this is a little geared towards, like I said, it came out in Christmas. So there's some poinsettias and candy kings and whatnot. But um Hey, Cindy Nelson, how are you? So anyways, but they that was kind of neat that they came out with the stamp and it coordinated with um, dies that you may already have. This was a quick note card that we just stamped and we used the petal, oh goodness, I can't think of what they called it. Um, hang on a second, let me grab my book. The little petal punch, small bloom punch. This is a free urn also, the small bloom punch. And so we used, you can use that down here. 
And here's two more samples that we made with the um, with the um, Rise and Shine stamp set. Okay. Let's see. What else did we have in? Oh, we did this one, a, these a while ago. Um, it was funny. I was, when I was digging out my cards, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, it's the Power of Hope bundle. The Power of Hope bundle can, comes with this really cool Asian um, stamp set. And it comes with a... Um, stone 3d embossing folder i know it's probably hard to see on the camera you're probably getting some reflections from my light um so let's just show you so this is a card that we made um with some sponging this was some of the uh one paper that's already gone it's really pretty paper the honeybee paper and then this one here and this one here you can really see the um stone we did this on um uh, foil paper so that one's pretty cool and we just kind of thumped on a couple layers of, of the trees so I think this one's probably my one of my favorite cards um, I actually made a little mini version of this card here I made a little mini version of it to put on a card front so I'll have to do that I'll put these together so I can go back and do that all right uh, power of hope bundle celebration um is still available uh if you place um a an order during celebration they will send you a free ladybug stamp set little la yeah la little ladybug stamp set um the order has to be 350 dollars um so you would earn like all kinds of hostess dollars on top of that um yeah the ladybug stamp set um i'm just making sure that i'm telling you the right amount do, do, do. sorry it's host a party host a party or place an order for 300 dollars, and then you can get this for free and here's some projects that we made with that and then they did you'll notice here she's um she's popped up i don't know if you can see that She's got some dimension on there because one of the uh, coordinating products that they came out with was the uh, ladybug dies. Hang on a second. I got in my package here. I should have taken it out before. That would have only been smart. Okay. Here are the ladybug dies. So the, you um, look at all these dies you can get. Kind of crazy. There are 15 of them. I haven't even had a chance to play with every, look at this little swirl, like she's flying. I haven't even had a chance to play with all of them. So they're not going to be available much longer. Oh no. Okay. So um, that was just like, just a quick recap of some of the stuff that, um, that we've done over the uh, past several weeks. And some of the happy birthdays and whatnot uh, came from, some of the words came from this Sending You Thoughts stamp set. And then we also have the Thoughtful Blooms, which coordinates with the um, Small Blooms Punch. So these are uh, both, both still available. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff available. Um, yeah. Okay, so and like always, you can order at stamp with Lisa Brown dot stampin up dot net. Uh, let's see. Um, so I'm gonna try to watch comments. It's um a little bit hard for me to watch comments and work. Hey Debbie Nickig, love your nails. Good luck. Oh, so okay, so it's the same. So I've had the same for a couple of weeks now. It was to go today, but guess what, ladies, we can't go. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I was supposed to get a man, a, uh, Manny and a Petty today. But so, so far they're, they're lasting um, pretty good. So we'll see what happens. If not, I'm going to have to go and get some acetone and soak them off until I can go back. I was supposed to get my hair done tomorrow too. And well, I guess that's not happening either. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? So um, 
Okay, so there's been this thing. I know some other people who are doing live videos and they're having some issues. So hopefully um, I'm going to try to look at my um, phone screen because I record these on my phone and then I have my laptop right next to me. And like on my laptop right now, it's frozen. So I don't know if you guys are frozen. So I'm just going to keep going. But because everybody being at home, everybody's doing live videos, um, Facebook is having a really hard time, uh, keeping up on everything. So, okay. So let's see. I randomly just kind of was like, okay, what are we going to do today? And, um, I picked some stuff. We're going to combine some things. Um, you know, my cards, I like, I like quick, easy, but like really cute and, um, effective cards. So, uh, one of the other things that we have is this really pretty vellum paper that you can get them. It's so very vellum and uh, the vellum paper comes in three different colors. You have the uh, blue, there's a pink, and then here in this card here we have the background is on um, green. So uh, soft, I think I did this on soft sea foam. So the vellum, you get two sheets of each. And so today we're going to do a blue because um, I hadn't used the blue yet. So I had just a standard pool party um, card base. All right. I know um, somebody uh, else who does uh, some other stuff, she was saying that um, they had pre-recorded some of their videos that they wanted to do today. They do like um, live parties. And so they were saying that they were pre-recording them and then just, you know, popping their, uh, their recorded video on at the time that they were supposed to go live. So I'm like, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to go live. I'm just, we're just going to do it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, snail adhesive in the middle of my card and lay down my vellum over top. So this is a piece of scrap of the, um, foil flowering foils paper that you can earn gosh you guys this paper is so pretty and I am actually super super surprised that it is not sold out yet so um, I found a flower on my scrap piece that was completely intact and we're just gonna cut that out and we're gonna throw the piece to the side and I'm just gonna give this a rough uh, fussy cut all the way around Okay, let's see who else I think. Oh, is the vellum is the vellum sold out, Sandy? Oh no. You know what? It's funny. I went on right before I went live trying to get all the updates and it was like not letting me on the website. So I'm not sure what was going on about that. I just um and then they posted again today that the uh honeybee paper was sold out. So which, like, we already knew that it was sold out. So, I don't know. All right. Just cutting around. So, this um, foil paper is, everything is um, in a rose gold and a silver foil. Some sheets are just strictly rose gold. Some sheets are just strictly silver. Um, and then like this one is a combination. Okay. I'm going to just keep going around. I'm moving my paper more than I'm moving my scissors. Makes it easier to control. Okay. There we go. And then I grabbed my alcohol markers, uh, the Stampin' Blends, and we're just going to give that a quick color. So I like to go in, I'm going to color the whole thing. Yeah, so um, apparently my company is claiming themselves as essential business, so I am still at work. I'm still going in every day. 
Um, they are talking about getting us some laptops. I did see some light being shed on that subject yesterday. So we'll see what happens. Um, but like I, I think I told you guys last week, we just moved into a new office. Uh, I think this, yeah, this is our third week there. And everything was freshly painted. The carpet was freshly um, cleaned. Um, all the furniture was nice and clean. Like every, they did a really, really nice job for us because it was um, kind of a huge change for, for us. We had been in the other building. Well, I've been in my company just a about a month shy of 24 years. So I've only ever been at that other building. So yeah, kind of crazy. I think we're gonna color, I think we're gonna color, oops, I color those dark. Yeah, so anyways, but um, we do, however, I understand we do sell, um, like we sell faucets that go on water or coffee, tea, um, uh, urns and, and crocs and stuff like that. And uh, we do sell to the CDC. We do sell to, there's many um, businesses we sell to that do um, uh, filtered water. We sell um, to companies that supply to hospitals. So as long as they're getting their stuff, that's the next problem is getting them their stuff. So yeah, so, uh, and then my rep in Amsterdam yesterday just told me that, well, they've been on lockdown, like we are here, and their government just announced yesterday that they have already extended their lockdown to June 1st. I was like, wow. And then I had a customer send me an email from England, and they said, we need to cancel our order. And I said, okay. Um, and in, the, in his email, he told me that he goes, I'll recancel when we come back to work in a couple of months. I was like, what? A couple of months. But I guess it's what it's resorting to with this virus. Okay. I'll blend that out a little bit. All right. There we go. Okay, quick and easy. So then I took a um, stitched rectangle um, framelit and I just cut out a white frame. And I'm gonna go to the Sending You Thoughts uh, stamp set. I'm gonna just, cause I'm, this is gonna get mounted here. Let's do a big, a great big wish for happiness. How let's, uh-oh, we might not be able to, uh-oh. I got a couple stamps missing. Uh, they must be on my other table. So, okay. Um, here, if loving thoughts could heal. How's that? We got anybody who's come down with the virus. I don't know anybody yet. Do you guys? Thank goodness. Okay. We'll go here. And I know that there's some dimensionals on my table. Are we frozen, you guys? I can't tell. Somebody can try and make a comment. Shoot me a wave. Shoot me a heart. It's telling me that I'm still live, but everything is frozen, which I kind of anticipated. Oop, can't get that last one. There we go. No, okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks, um, Carolyn. Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks. All right. So we're just gonna put that in the middle and we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back here. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna put three because normally I'd probably put more. All right, and we're just gonna put that right there. 
Done. Boom. Isn't that cute? So, a um, couple of celebration items for that quick and easy pretty card. I love it. Aw, I'm sad that the foil paper, um, Sandy said the foil paper was gone. So, I am seeing you live. Great. Thanks, Lise. Okay. That is project number one. Um, I got my chamois buried over here. All right. Don't want my bin. We're going to clean off our stamp. Okay. Okay. So for the next one, uh, let's see. I've preempted a couple of, a couple of things. So, uh, this is the other celebration stuff. Uh, that we have. It's the uh, lily pad dies and there are 11 dies. This is free with a hundred dollar order. And oh, here's like a quick reference for all the dies that you get. I, I cut them out and put them on a sheet like that. And then here is the uh, stamp set that uh, coordinates with it. And the stamp set is reversible, so you can stamp the detailed and you can stamp um, the solid image. You just flip them over on your block. Um, let's see. I think maybe, let's start with this one. So this paper is from the the um, lovely lily pad designer series paper. There's a whole pack of paper that you can earn for free. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, uh, no, the vellum. Okay. So the vellum is, is gone. Okay. Um, so the foil, the flowering foils is still available and the vellum is gone. Thanks, Sandy. So, um, this paper is still available here, uh, for celebration and that's with a $50 earn. And, we're going to do like a triple layer card. So I've already cut out two rectangles and I'm using my stitched, uh, my stitched rectangles and I hardly ever use them. So I'm glad that I'm doing this. So I have this size here and all I want to do is I want to, I'm going to do these one at a time just so that they don't shift. I, I'm going to cut this out of my big shot and I'm just going to line this. So this rectangle is in the center and I'm just going to eyeball that I have an even border all the way around it. And we're going to cut that out. So let me grab my big shot here. Okay, and it's coming through. So now I'm gonna, I need both of those papers. So I'm just gonna gently pull this out because it's of the stitching. It sticks into the die a little bit. You just wanna be a little bit gentle. I don't know if you can see the stitching on that, on the edge. Okay, and now I'm gonna pop out this one. Okay. Next, I'm going to take this piece that I just cut, um, just die cut it out and I'm going to die cut another rectangle in the center of that. Again, I'm just laying that on there, trying to get it as even as possible. Just eyeballing it. Put my other cutting plate on and we're going to run that through. Okay, and we're gonna pull those out again. I'm gonna gently pull so that we don't rip our paper. Okay. What I did was I went ahead with my black cardstock and I already cut out these two rectangles and they're just one size up from these, okay? So this, rectangle here is going to layer over here. So we're going to go ahead and adhere that down. And 
this one is going to just go on here. Ooh, that tape is sticky. It's sticking to my fingers real good. All right. And we're going to lay that in there. Okay. All right. So then I just have our standard black card base. Uh, eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. But I want my card to go this way. And this piece is going to lay on here. I did cut this to the five and three eighths by four and an eighth because I just I wanted a skinny border. You know me, I keep saying that almost every week. I'm loving those skinny borders. Okay, get some adhesive going. And we're going to put that down. I love the color of this paper. I love the, like, it's a water, it's a watercolor look, like brush strokes. Okay, so then now when we put our layers on, this layer is going to cover that layer and so on. And this one's going to cover that one. And we're going to dimensional them on. And after last week's video, I said I was going to find my black dimensionals and I still haven't found them. Because <laughs> black dimensionals would have been awesome for this card. Oh, well. So we do have black dimensionals. They, um, you have to uh, search for them in the store. Just type in dimensionals because um, they're not showing in any of the catalogs. It was a holiday catalog carryover. Now for me, I have these light brush strokes over here, which is from this. So I want to make sure that I'm carrying that same pattern um, over. I don't want to mount it this way. You could, just for me visually, I like it so that it um, continues in the same pattern. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to line this with some dimensionals. Okay. You know how the, you know, like the tape runners, the, um, snail adhesive. <laughs> I wish somebody, we could invent, uh, a, a tape dispenser that dispenses the dimensionals. <laughs> and when I could just run like two strips of dimensionals, wouldn't it be great? I don't think there's anything out there. Like even, you know, like non stamping up stuff. Hmm. I might have to like get my creative juices going and Try to figure that out. <laughs> okay. So again, I want that same lightness to match up with, with this over here, the pattern on that paper. And we're just going to put that on. Isn't that cute? So let's see. I was going to do something, all kinds of craziness, but I don't think, um, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my dies and I think I'm just going to um, cut out one water lily and maybe um, a couple of leaves. How's that? I won't keep you uh, too bored. So I'm going to bring my big shot back in. Okay. Bring this through. Let's see. We're going to push that in. Let's... And I have the leaf die out already. So I'm going to throw that right there. Um, I'm going to cut a piece of scrap melon mambo. And we're going to put that over here and cut that out. I know you can't see all this on the camera. And then I need a little piece of black cardstock, and we're going to cut that out. Okay, put our top. Hey, Linda Marcus, I have a runner that dispenses 
Zot. What is a Zot, Linda? I don't know if I've heard of a Zot. I figured like you or I don't know if you remember Viola Floyd. Um, Viola has like every tool under the sun. <laughs> I bet she has something. Okay. So I have a little green stem here using my um, pick tool and I'm poking through the, the holes to get those out. Oh, I cut off the edge of my leaf. What? I went right over the paper. Oh, well, we're going to have a cut off leaf. And then um, I don't know where my, my foam mat's buried right now, but you just can take your scrubby tool from your pick tool and it pops everything out. Oh, I got one left right there. And then I'll um, just poke into the little holes. And that die just comes right out. Just like that. Okay. I saw it. Clear type dimensionals. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever heard of those. Now, I do have um, somewhere. Oh, my gosh. Uh, years ago, oh, years and years and years, when I first started scrapbooking, I don't know who it was, QVC, HSN, somebody like that had a uh, craft, you know, craft 24-hour, 48-hour, whatever it was, craft weekend, and they had a package of dimensionals. Um, oh, it was like $20, and I don't even know how many packs of dimensionals I got or excuse me, glue dots, but the glue dots, um, were all in all kinds of different shapes and sizes and sheets. And it, it was, yeah, it was kind of crazy. So, all right. I'm looking for, can you believe I do not have any liquid glue? Here we go. I'm, I'm starting to pack for a little outing. So there's uh, some glue right there. So kind of, some of my stuff is is packed up. Um, let's see. This is all right. We're just gonna glue. Put some uh, dots of glue. On. Whoa, a dot of glue. Oh my goodness, it starts squirting all over. All right, I'll grab that off my table, and I'll just use my finger and dot that on there. Okay, and we're gonna lay that over. I got a little bit on the top, but that's okay. All right. Now get this dirty because now everything is going to stick to that. Uh, do you see where I chopped? I chomped off my, my little leaf. <laughs> oh, good. You know what? Watch this, you guys. Watch this. I think I'm just going to reshape it. Boop. Reshaped. Good. How's, look at that. We reshaped it. Um, hmm. I actually, I'm not crazy about that being on a melon mambo, but that's okay. We'll just roll with it. And I think I want this cut off. Let's see. I actually, I think I'm going to do it on upside down just to add a little greenery back there. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Put some glue back here. And, all right, I just want a little bit of greenery back here. So we're just going to stick it on like that. And I got extra glue back there. So we're just going to glue that, stick it on just like that. All right, now I'm going to, let's see. Hmm, what do we want to put on there? What do we want to put on there, you guys? Send, how about sending a little something? There we go. Um, get a scrap piece of paper. Of course, I don't have any right there. Okay. Oh. Okay. A little piece of Whisper White. We're just going to use, and this is again out of the Sending You uh, Thought Stamp Set that you can get as a free urn. Oop, there we go. Oh, I like that. Okay. 
make sure it's dry. And my normal little flag, I think we're going to put a little flag over here. So um, this paper, I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but this uh, paper is a part of the free um, paper that you can earn um, when you get it. It was a six by six piece. So it was one of the free earns, uh, free things that you get when you sign up to become a demonstrator before the end of the month. Sending you a little something. There we go. Oop, my glue's like squiggling around there. Okay, there's card number two. My mom bought that variety of glue dots for me. Oh, Cindy, I'm telling you, um, where's my bag's right here? Here, right here. Here's a bag right here. I have a little side bag over here that I have all my glue dots and, and stuff like that in. It was, um, so this one, what is this? This is 12 sheets, 144 clear dots, and they're a half inch. So, um, and these are the ones that you can get, get in the craft stores. But they had them in the, the you know, 16th, you know, to all the way up to one inch, like big ones and thick ones and, and a whole sheet. Yeah, there were, it was crazy, right? <laughs> Hey, Cousin Peggy, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Um, okay, 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 okay. And just like that, I'm throwing stuff all over the place. <laughs> oh, here it is. I couldn't find my, I couldn't find my chamois again. So just going to clean that off. I love it. Just a couple little pounces on there and that stamp is clean. All right, so quick and easy. I love it. This is one sheet of um, of of paper, and it's just cut three times with a couple of mats underneath. It's awesome. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. So I took for my next card. I took another piece of um that paper. Oh, here's some other cards that we made. Now, I, this paper here is not available anymore, but um, this is the same die that we just used from the lily pads. And this is one that we had done uh, a while ago. So here's another uh, piece of the paper that you get with the um, lily pad paper. Lovely lily pad. I just keep, I just keep saying lily pad. So here's here's um, the six by six in that in that uh sample pack that you get when you can when you sign up to become a demonstrator so all right let me get those aside all right so let's see here oh let's see yep that's them i still have a bunch of them yeah i'm thinking i have that bag and maybe uh that one's half used at least half used and I have a, a like maybe two other ones, but I really, um, when I was scrapbooking a lot, I got some adhesive on there. Uh, when I was scrapbooking a lot, I I would really, really use them. I wish they would come up with that deal again, because goodness, you guys, glue dots have gotten so expensive over the years. All right. This is a piece of flirty flamingo. Flirty Flamingo. I think we're going to do another sideways cards. I never do my cards like this. All right. So I have some random uh, pieces of paper. I'm going to take this design. And um, all right. Let's cut this down. Let's see. Um, I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. All right. Let's cut this down. Oh, you know what? Watch this. Um, we're going to try to use our little baby trimmer. Let's see, but I need it to go to five. So it doesn't, it only goes to four and a quarter. It only goes to four and a half. Well, we can at least cut our, our four and an eighth with this. Let's cut our four and an eighth. I think I just did that right. If not, I got more. Yeah, I did that right. So I want to go to five and three eighths. So I do have to get my trimmer. Hang on a second. Okay. And we're going to go five and three eighths. All right. 
There we go. Five and threes. A little scrap. You can save that little scrap to put it on the inside of your card to decorate it on the inside. So don't throw those away. Okay. And I think we're just going to adhere this. I did not. Um, so we're just going. I'm, I'm just going with what I feel here. But I do, I do like that flirty flamingo picking up the um, flowers. You can also use uh, Calypso Coral, but Calypso Coral was a little bright for what I was, uh, what I wanted. So, okay. You can make your own glue dots with Aliens Tech over it in any size. You know what? I have heard that. I heard that. Kind of like you can make your own. Um, your own um oh what do you call them like epoxy almost like epoxy drops with your with your heat with your uh heat gun and your glue sticks and then you can use reinker or your alcohol markers to color it okay oh i forgot to show you guys um this so dun 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 so i cut when i cut this um when i cut this rectangle here for this layer um it left me with this piece well it was like a perfect frame and i said oh i can't throw that away so that's how we ended up with three cards tonight <laughs> um and i'm going to again miss my black dimensionals oh i'm gonna have to find those goodness um, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, mini dimensionals. They won't show as, as much. So, uh, give me a few minutes here and we're going to line this with mini dimensionals because we're going to do a frame all the way around. And I really don't want any sagging on my frame. So I want to put quite a few, um, dimensionals. I may not, I may just, um, peel off a couple of the backings. I won't make you guys watch me peel off all the backings. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I can come back later and pull off. I can pull off the couple of dimensionals that I'm going to... Oh, it's sticking to my fingernail. That I'm going to stick down <clears throat> and... Um, I can re-adhere them and then, oh my goodness, this is why I use my tool because they just stick to my fingers. Yep, I cannot believe that this is the end of celebration already. So um, like Peggy, I don't know if you know, um, if you're still on, celebration um, is our, like our biggest sale of the year. And Stampin' Up! rewards you for your um, purchase. So at every $50 um, product purchase that you make, you get a free celebration item. And there are $50 um, dollar levels and $100 levels. So you can get dies, like the dies that we're using for these cards, um, you can earn for free. So, all right, I'm just going to peel off the corners, you guys. Like I said, I'm going to, I'll come back later. I, sometimes if I have like a bad alignment or I change my mind on something, you can go in and snip. I'll show you. You can snip off your dimensional and you can always re-glue it. So let's say I put this frame down. And later on, I want to come back and um, adhere down all those other dimensionals. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to snip my dimensional like this. And then I'll just put glue on it and, and then just adhere it back down. So, okay. So then in the uh, lily dies, the lily pad dies, there is this crazy border and there are some smaller uh, detailed, uh, little detailed flower, lotus flower, buds, whatever you want to call them. So I just, I did three of them and I thought, well, let's just play and see what we come up with. All right. So this is our frame. And I'm thinking I want, I'm thinking I want this in here. 
Um, do I want it like this? Which way? Up or down, you guys? <laughs> what do you think? I think we go. I think I'm going to go down, and I don't want that many, so I'm going to cut some of these off. Take my paper snips. Yeah. I might save that. You never know. It may pop up in my head in a minute. Or I can put it on the inside. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue through here. And we're going to lay that down like so. Just for a little added interest. Okay. And then let's see, we're going to glue these down. Let's see my tweezers. I need my tweezers. That's what I want. There we go. So I might want I might want that one on top of my frame. Let's see. And this one, let's see. And we'll put this one. Top of here. That one might go underneath. Hmm. What do you guys think? I think no, I think maybe random. Keep that one up there. Keep that one there. All right. And we'll do one more. I really wanted a cluster, but I'm not liking how that's coming out. So I'm just, I'm think we'll do that one over here. You know what? We may just even eliminate him. See, now I'm changing my mind. I'm going to glue this back in. I'm going to glue that back in, just like so. I'm going to put some glue here. And we're going to put some glue right there. And he can go on the inside of our card. How's that? So now I think we'll just stay with the two. Um, okay, and we're going to do a sentiment. Let's see. Ladybugs. How about... Let's see. We're going to take a sentiment from another stamp set. Today is a day for new beginnings. Um, we've got this first. I'm just looking through the stamp sets that I have. How about... How about this happy birthday? from the uh, Happy Birthday stamp set. Let's take that out. Let's see if it's, a, oh, good, it's in here, awesome. All right, I'm gonna do that. And I need to mount it to a block. A scrap piece of white paper. And we're just again using our memento. Ooh, that's just barely. I wanted to get a stitched framelit around it. I don't know if that's going to happen. I may just end up cutting that. Okay. Side note. Side thought, not side note. Um, let's see. I'm going to cut it. Oh, I smeared it a little bit. I'm going to put a happy birthday there. 
and let's see. You know what? I'm just going to leave it just like that. We are going to leave it just like that. Uh, I was thinking about getting a piece of flirty flamingo to line behind it, which you can totally do, but um, I'm already over my time limit of what I normally do. So we're going to cut it off right there. Okay. I did put dimensionals underneath that. Okay. And like I said, keep this. Um, you're going to put a piece of Whisper White on your inside, and you have a little scrap left over for your side over here, and you can put your flower down here um, and stamp, stamp your sentiment in there. So there's that one, and we've got that one. Uh, let's see. We've got, and we've got this one so that we did today. All right, ladies, uh, go ahead and you can go to creativecardcloset.com and you can link into my shop that way. You can see some of my posts that I've been putting on there. Um, I did my Savvy Sunday video that's posted up today. Um, I'm creativecardcloset.com and you can shop at Stamp with Lisa, uh, yes, <laughs> Stamp with Lisa Brown dot Stampin' Up dot net. So it's a mouthful. Thank you for joining me. Everybody stay safe out there. Be smart. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.